say before? Meat. <laughs> yeah. We are one of the first uh, gourmet butcher in Singapore, the Hubers family. For Hubers, we try to make products that taste great, but it's also really wholesome. Because we have family, so when we make products, we always think about whether our kids would be healthy eating it. I first heard about cultivated meat from, from Andre. So being the engineer, my first questions were always, how is it grown? Are there any like chemicals inside? With good meat, we have asked the questions and we have got our answers. You know, I've seen a lot of farms, I've seen a lot of abattoirs. And I've seen the over-farming, the over-taxing of our Earth's resources. So that's why I'm willing to be the first butchery in the world to sell cultivated chicken. Now, I've tried so many plant-based products in the market that just came one after another and nothing replicated the taste of real meat. But you know, once I tried cultivated uh, chicken, wow, I was actually blown aback by the, the taste of it. Yeah, it's so close to, to the real meat. Yeah, I definitely thought it was tender. Super interesting news to come out of Singapore. Good Meat is now selling cultivated chicken at a store. Hoover's Butchery, it's the same place where I tried cultivated meat. What are we, about a year and a half ago now? And so they're selling a frozen cultivated chicken product. And what's different is the one I tried was about, I believe, 70% cultivated chicken, 30% plant-based. This one is 3% cultivated chicken, 97% plant-based. So basically it's a plant-based chicken, but they've added cultivated chicken cells to it. And they're saying that they're getting really good feedback in terms of taste and texture and just similarity to real chicken. So I would be super curious to try this one because if they can get the same flavorings and textures and everything as real chicken with only 3% cells, then that does some really interesting things. So I'd be super interested to try that product. They're calling it Good Meat 3. They've had a number of different products. This is a completely different product. Again, 97% plant-based, 3% cultivated meat. It'll be available in the freezer section of Hooper's Butchery for the remainder of 2024 and will be priced at $7.20 Singapore dollars for 120 gram package. Using a smaller percentage of cultivated chicken in combination with plant proteins, which have always been used in Good Meats cultivated chicken products, also helps reduce costs associated with the production of cultivated meat, one of the main challenges that exist to scaling this developing industry. As consumer studies of cultivated meat have shown, tasting is believing, and that remains true for Good Meat 3. Sensory testing has yielded exceptional feedback on measures such as taste, texture, and appearance. The result of Good Meats patented production process, as well as the simple recipe of plant proteins, cultivated chicken, and seasonings that flavor the chicken. I'm reading a blurry ingredient list here, but it looks like we have water, some sort of wheat, soy protein, concentrate, sunflower, and some other kind of oil, cultivated chicken, natural flavors, modified cornstarch, salt, soy, lectin, olive oil, salt, and pepper for seasonings. $7.20 for 120 grams. That is what, $60 a kilo. So obviously still quite pricey, but really interesting to see that there's an opportunity for people in Singapore to buy the chicken and cook it at home. In the short to medium term, while we're actually scaling up this technology, I wouldn't be surprised to see a lot more of these types of products hit the market. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.